everybody, it's Saturday. I think I might be getting sick. I accidentally slept till noon today. That never happens. My internship is so cool. So last week, like I said in my video, I met John Oates. Here's a picture of me with John Oates. Here is another picture of me being jokingly strangled by John Oates. None of us really know why that happened, but I am totally okay with the fact that that happened. <laughs> the cool thing about doing this internship is that basically when you go to these concerts, you get to see the concert for free but you also pretty much have free range of the whole venue. I could walk around throughout the concert. I got to see the sound check. I got to go backstage. I got to like walk around in the venue and go up to the balcony if I wanted. I could go down to the front if I wanted. It was fantastic. John Oates is a really fantastic musician. It's not really readily apparent from Hollow Notes because Daryl Hall is mostly the forefront of Hollow Notes. He's an interesting guy. He's not the most friendly person. Like some people are just very outwardly friendly and he is not really one of those people. I figured it out while I was transcribing his interview. I think what it is is that he's very introverted and he's very intelligent so he's just sort of in his mind and sometimes those people come off as rude or arrogant. I am one of those people, so I totally get it. Yesterday, the Airborne Toxic event was here in Philadelphia, and we went to their show, and we did an interview with the lead singer, whose name is Mikel Jolet, and that guy was really, oh, he's really smart. Basically for a year, he just sat in a double wide trailer somewhere in California and read books for the entire year. Like, that's all he did and it shows because now he's really, really smart. He knows a lot of things about a lot of stuff and he was a novelist. He turned down a book deal to start this band. <laughs> so he was really cool. I don't have a picture of me with him because somebody else took it. The concert was great. I didn't move around a lot because it was. it's one of those venues where there are no seats. So everybody's just standing and also there's a bar so a lot of people are drunk. I didn't really want to deal with wading through a crowd of drunk people to move around. But there's like an eagle's nest area at the top and we had a camera up there. So basically I just stationed myself with the camera to make sure everything was okay and took pictures from up there and it was really cool. I had never really heard of them all that much. I don't listen to the radio. <laughs> ever and also i'm not very good at attaching names of bands to songs that i know so once they started playing i realized that i know like all of their songs they put on a really great show the lights were fantastic got to be backstage at a venue that a lot of people go to in philly my punishment video will be up tomorrow maybe it might not seem super punishmenty but I'm already embarrassed. That's the point, right? I hope everybody has a really good week. Devin, I'll see you on Monday. Bye!